last box. Anything? Nothing yet, but I'm taking that as a positive sign. You know, I've met a lot of strong women in this town. I think Angie might just be the strongest. Whatever happens, she's going to be all right. Hey, I want you to make me a promise. Well, two, actually. That's asking a lot, but okay. First, you will buy me a pie from Bruno's to make up for those carrots that I ate. Pepperoni and pineapple. Ooh, adventurous. I like that. Mm. And second, just stop talking to yourself, okay? You have me. And you have an apartment to move into. So exciting, right? My very own place. I mean, it's the size of a postage stamp, but it's my postage stamp. Yes, and I will be expecting an invitation soon. Definitely. The first one has to go to Ryan, of course. He's getting out of the hospital tomorrow. I have a lot to do, actually. Well... I'll let you get to it. Not so fast. You get one of these first. <laughs> oh, hey, Natalia. What's up? Uh, um, nothing. What's up, Michelle? I was just leaving. Moving out? All good things must come to an end. I'm sure Frankie's gonna be psyched that I'm not crashing on the couch anymore. Hey, thank Randy for me again, okay? And I'll be waiting for that pizza. Yes. Thank you. Any word from Angie? Not yet, but no news is good news. Where is Randy? At a photo shoot. Thanks for the update. I gotta get out of here. You just got here. Hey, I'm a very important person. I'm in high demand. In case you haven't heard. You don't have to wait with me, you know. I don't mind. Being alone in the hospital sucks. Yeah, I guess you've spent a lot of time in places like this, right? Way too much. When you have multiple surgeries, you kind of get into, I don't know, a groove. But it's been five years since my last surgery, and there's a lot of things I didn't remember, like the expectations. From the doctors? From everyone. Family, friends, co-workers. They get so invested on how things are going to work out. Then on top of that, they ask a million questions and only want certain answers. Like, if I don't ace my surgery, somehow they're disappointed. <laughs> Does that include Natalia? Especially Natalia. Well, she wouldn't ask if she didn't care, right? Yeah, but sometimes I just wish she would just try to understand. The pressure. What are you, Dr. like, Forrest some mind reader or something? No, I just, I get it. I get how hard it is when people have a stake in your success. Like, today when I tripped at that photo shoot, of course everyone came up to me to ask if I was okay. But I know in the back of their minds, all they were thinking was, thank God it was her foot and not her face. Yeah, but that face makes a lot of cash. I mean, I don't know why. Don't ask me. <laughs> hey, Doc, this is my friend Randy. She's a supermodel. I, I take that back, a clumsy supermodel. Brought my friend, the comedian. Not so funny comedian. <laughs> You're all set. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doc. And here's to uh, hopefully not seeing you again. How you getting home? I don't know. Cab, I guess. Let me drive you. What about your foot? It's feeling better already. All right, let's go. But you gotta grab my shoes. Angela, come sit no, down and let no, it pass. No, stop it! I don't need to sit down to have a conversation with you because I can't see. Jesse, do you know how crazy this morning was? I was going to keep my sonogram a secret from my own husband. I am not upset. Well, I am, because I came this close to being alone when I saw her child for the first time. You were not alone. Technically, no. What does that mean? You're with me, but you're not. Present, but only halfway. I'm here, baby. 
here I yeah. am. Yeah. Here I you, am. You are here carrying around all of this stuff and keeping it bottled up because you think that there are certain things that you don't have a right to say. Well, say them. Don't isolate yourself, especially not from me. Especially not now. I'm not. You know what, Jesse? I'm, I may not be able to see you, but I know when you are holding back, and that is not who you are. You know, we level with each other. We fight through things because it makes us stronger, and we say, we say what we feel and whatever we think. So whatever it is that you think that you can't say, say it. I want you to tell me if you are going to resent this baby, if I go blind. I want this baby with all of my heart. But this sacrifice that you want to make is just, it's killing me, okay? I keep saying to myself that there's got to be a solution. There's got to be another way, but there isn't. And I wish I could take this burden and carry it for you, but I can't. There is nothing I can do to help you, and that, that's just going to eat at me a little bit every day of this beautiful little child's life.